Hey everyone, I'm Jesse. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Strix Outdoors. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Spy Point referral program. What it is, how it works, how you participate in it, and some of the details around the differences between how it's applied if you, depending on which camera you're buying. A lot of these details are not anywhere on the Spy Point website, so I felt like I needed to do a video to explain a little bit more about it and share some of the things that I've learned over the last couple weeks with all of you guys. So first off, I wanna thank everyone that's already reached out to me via Instagram or Facebook to ask about the referral program and has taken advantage of it. Thank you guys for taking the effort and I'm glad that you guys are able to benefit from that. Hey guys, if you haven't done so already, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below to stay tuned for upcoming videos. And I hope you're finding this content useful and only ask in return that you bullseye that beautiful like button. Now for those of you that are not familiar, the Spy Point referral program is an incentive system that Spy Point put out specifically around their link based cameras, which are the cell activated cameras, by which you and the person that referred you receive a incentive. And that's usually either uh, cash in the form of spy point dollars or potentially uh, a rebate, um, depending on which camera you buy. And I'm gonna share the details around that here in just a little bit. Now the exact benefits of the referral program actually differ depending on which camera you're buying. Specifically, it's different for the cell link. Now, let me summarize the incentive program and cover some details that are not listed on the website. So basically, if you're buying a cell link camera adapter, the incentive is $5 and spy point bucks. If you're buying any of the other link camera systems, the incentive is $15 or your choice of a mail-in rebate on a second purchase. If you're interested in that mail-in rebate, again, you can either pick the mail-in rebate or the $15, you cannot get both, but that mail-in rebate dollar amount depends on which camera you're buying as a second purchase. And that's either a $50 mail-in rebate for purchasing an additional link micro camera or a $100 rebate if you're purchasing any of the other link cameras, so the full-size link cameras, such as the Link S and the Link Dark and Link Evo, etc. Now let's start by going over to the SpyPoint website and we're gonna look at what it states regarding the referral program and how it works and then I'll share some additional details after that. All right, so here we are on the SpyPoint website and we're gonna to go to SpyPoint Experience Referral Program So here we'll find information about how the program works and some of the details around it. Again, here it's stating the 15 spy dollars towards your account. And here is the link for the rebate form if you choose to go down this route. So here's the rebate form. It tells you which ones it's valid for. And of course, you'll need to use your promo code that you'll receive in an email from SpyPoint fill all this out and make sure you look at this carefully and provide all the information that the form is requesting here. Now in order for you and the person referring you to get this incentive, you need that person's email address. Now that email address that I send you or your friend sends you is to be used during the activation process of your camera via the SpyPoint app. So let's take a look at the app and I'm going to show you exactly where to put that in. So here's how the referral incentive program is going to work via the activation process. So we've got the SpyPoint app here coming up. All right, so we're here on the Spy Point app and we're going to add a new camera. Select a device down here. Let's say it's going to be a, a let's say it's going to be a cell link. Next. And you can either manually enter the code or scan it. And then it'll ask you here, have you been referred? And you say yes and you type in the referral email address. And uh, as I said, you would um, you can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook and I'll send you the email address that I use for this account. Okay, so once you've activated the camera and you've used the referral email address in the activation process, you will receive an email from SpyPoint. That email will list out the details of your referral incentive. And again, that's gonna depend on which camera you're activating when you're using the referral and it'll give you different activation codes depending on which option you get. So for the spy point dollar option, whether it's for the cell link, the $5 for the cell link, or the $15 for any other camera, you'll get an activation code that starts with SPYD. That activation code needs to be put into the app and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. And then you'll receive your $5 or $15 spy point dollar credit to your account. All right, so what you'll do is you open up this spy point app, you go to your profile, at the top, you look for 
referral program here. And here you'll enter in that promo code. Again, it'll start with SPYD and so on and so forth. You'll enter that in and hit redeem spy dollars and it'll add it to your spy dollar balance. If you purchase one of the cameras, aside from the sell link, you'll also have the option for the rebate and there will be a different code for the rebate. And that rebate, of course, again, is only if you're purchasing another camera and you can use that to get a rebate on that second purchase, not on the one that you've already made. Now, one thing to be mindful of is that these incentive codes are only good for 90 days. So be sure that you don't misplace it or you don't put it off too long because they might expire. Now, one important thing to note with regards to the rebate, especially if you live in the US, is that you need to be careful when you receive that check and as you're trying to cash it. So what I experienced before is that um, the rebate check had a different date format. So instead of month, day, year, as we typically use in the US, the format was day, month, year. And so there might be some issues if you're trying to electronically deposit the check via a mobile app or maybe even the ATM. In my case, I tried to do it via my mobile app and encountered some issues. Uh, so you may need to go actually into your, your bank or your teller directly and talk to them about it. Highlight that difference in date format so they'll cash it for you. But otherwise, it should be fine. Now there's one thing I wanted to clarify or correct rather from some of my previous videos in which I said if you use the incentive program, you get a month free of the data plan, which is true for most of the link camera. So the $15 in spy point dollars that you get is enough to pay for one month of the unlimited data plan. Of course, the $5 that you get if you're activating the sell link will not. Now I want to make the distinction because in addition to that, you also get a free trial period when you activate each camera and it depends on the camera again. And so for a normal link camera, you will get a 30 day free trial period of the unlimited data plan when you initially activate the camera. If you're buying the cell link and activating it, you get a seven day free trial period of unlimited data before it defaults into whatever data plan you choose. All right, so let's assume that you've selected the code that gives you the 15 or $5 spy point dollars. Now what? So now you can use those spy point dollars to purchase things from spy point, right? Well, yeah, I think so, but it's not really very straightforward. And by that, I mean that your data plan will not automatically defer to using your spy point dollars to pay for the next month. So I haven't tried purchasing a product from spy point directly on their website, like a camera or accessory and trying to use the spy point dollars. Theoretically, I believe you can do that. I've been mostly interested in using my spy point dollars to pay for my data plans. And to do that is not a straightforward process. Your cameras will not default automatically to using your spy point dollars to pay for your data plans. You have to specifically assign that. And you yourself can't do that through the app or the website currently. So if you want to use those SpyPoint dollars towards your data plan, you'll need to reach out to SpyPoint customer support via either phone, email, or chat. And I recommend that you reach out via the chat. That way you can provide the information that they need to do this properly. Some of the information that you'll need is the SIM number for the specific camera that you're trying to apply the SpyPoint dollars to. So try to keep track of your SIM number before you put your camera out. And I'll show you where you should be able to locate your SIM number, but it's not always that clear and I'm having a little bit of trouble. So here's one way that you can find the SIM number for your device if you didn't happen to write it down or have it handy or you already have the device out in the field. So again, we'll look at the SpyPoint app. We'll pull that up. We'll go to cameras. You'll have a list of the cameras that you have active. And if you'll click on the status of any of the cameras at the very bottom, it should say SIM number. Now that is the case for me on my Link S cameras, but for some reason that does not work for the Cell Link or the Link Micro S under status. Now I've asked SpyPoint about that and they seem to believe that the SIM number should also be listed for those two and I'm not sure why it's not. So maybe that'll get updated with the app, um, but currently it's not listed, it should be. All right, so what you'll do is that after your free 30 day or seven day unlimited data plan trial ends or very near when it ends, you can reach out to SpyPoint and ask them to apply your SpyPoint dollars towards your next data plan. And the reason I say at the end, after it expires or very near the end is that they can't add on a data plan during the free trial period. So basically if you tell them to give you an unlimited data plan after only two weeks of the 30 day free trial, 
they're basically replacing the 30 day free trial with the paid program. So that doesn't work to your advantage. So you'll have to wait until that expires or very near to when it expires. Now, this is one of those details that again, isn't listed anywhere is that when you're going to use a spy point dollars, at least what they told me is that I couldn't use the spy point dollars towards anything except for the unlimited data plan, which is a $15 month to month plan, or it's $10 monthly if you sign up for the year. Um, now I didn't ask about doing the full year plans for any of the others. I was only interested in the month to month. And, and I'm not sure if that applies also, if, if you can use those dollars for the insider program, I, I hope you can, or to get HD photos. But again, the first time I reached out to them to apply some of those spy point dollars, I was looking for only the $10 month to month plan. And they said, I couldn't do that, that it had to go to the unlimited data plan. So if you've got questions about the spy point products or you're having issues with yours, again, spy point technical support is going to be the best bet for you, but I'll try my best to troubleshoot with you. Um, at least I can share the experiences that I've had and maybe some of those things will help you, uh, but feel free to reach out and leave comments below and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. Now I will provide one caveat to all of this is that things could change. Spy point has evolved or changed their programs over the last few years, you know, a little at a time. And so there's no guarantee this incentive program will continue or that the conditions or the, some of the terms of it won't change in the future. But at least for now, this is what my understanding is. Well, everyone, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.